Here we're going to check the alignment on the laser. First up, we're going to start with mirror two and check it's hitting the right spot on the laser head prior to mirror three. First, we need to go to the controller and find menu and select it. Scroll across till we get to function and enter. Scroll down until we get to laser set and then push enter. Now we want to go up to the continue so we scroll up till that's the only one highlighted. Then we push enter. We get two little arrows pop up. Um, that allows us to change it to laser by the arrow down button and enter. Next we need to go down to laser time and type in 35. This will allow your laser to, once you hit the pulse button, to only fire for 35 milliseconds instead of a long time you hit that pulse button. Uh, once we've done that, we'll go back out and scroll down to right and write those new settings to the controller. This will allow you to get a nice little dot on the masking tape for the alignment process. Escape out of that and back to the main screen. Next we're going to get four or five laser masking tape on top of each other and the reason for this is so when we fire the laser we don't want to burn through the tape and dirty the mirror behind it from the glue etc on the tape. So push it in we want to see the location of that hole after we test fire it and set it up like that. Now we move the laser all the way to the left then we'll go around and move it so you can actually get to those gold screws just in case you need to adjust it. And after that, we'll go and fire it. So we're about to fire it now, so we'll fire it on the left hand side and push pulse. And that left a nice little dot. Next, we'll go back to the controller and move it all the way to the right. Now, you can see where that dot is now. We need that beam to fall exactly on top of that dot. So I'll get in there for a bit closer look after it's fired and then a little bit of slow-mo and smoke and we'll have a good look at it and explain why it needs to be in a certain position. Right, we're in pretty close now and I'll just push it in so we can see the outline a little bit easier where that hole is. Now we need to that beam to hit exactly centre left to right and that looks like it is. So we want that beam to go through and hit the centre of mirror 3 so it's not going down an angle so it's travelling down straight down the centre of the lens tube and hitting the centre of the focus lens. A little bit higher is good. Um, if it's centre, you haven't got a lot of adjustment on mirror three to send it down. And if it's lower, you'll need to adjust the tube up a little bit to hit higher on mirror one. Next, we'll go back and test mirror one. And I'll do this on the right hand side. I'll just test fire it there. And we'll move it forward again. And the reason why I do it on the right hand side is because if there's a little bit a difference it's going to amplify it on the right hand side because it's traveling further away All right so we've test fired it there at the front and it's absolutely spot on next up we're a three alignment check so we're going to remove the lens tube it just as I've done there and we're going to get some tape and put one layer of masking tape I haven't got two inch so I've just doubled it up so it'll fit across the bottom. Just remove that and set it to the side. Next we're going to go and uh, push it on just so we can see the outline just in case you want to pull it off and have a look as well. So go to the controller and I'll fire it. 
and I'll jump under there and see if we can see where that beam went through with just one pulse. It may need another pulse. You just see it, I think, there. But I'll put the camera underneath and uh, pulse it. Right, we've got it there now. I'll just pulse it on slow-mo. And it should hit that exact same spot that looks like it's in the middle. Camera's out of the way of the beam, don't worry. Right, that looks pretty central to me. So we can move on to the next step. And uh, you can pull it off and have a look. Right, so next up we want to fire onto some plywood or timber because you can see their mark easy. So I'm going to fire onto timber with the bed as high as I can get it or close to it. The lens tube is out on this process as well. So there you go, I fired onto the timber. Next up is to move the bed straight down without moving the timber. And we want to see if it's hitting the same spot. That then ensures that the beam is travelling not only centre up the top, it's heading straight down and will go through the centre of the focus lens and then hopefully out the centre of the nozzle. Another little smoke ring there and that is dead on. So that is number three perfectly aligned and that's what you'll want to see. Next up we'll put the lens tube back in which I've prior done and place one layer of masking tape underneath and push it down so we can actually see the outline of the nozzle and the hole in the nozzle as well through the tape. I'll move down and I'll change the camera so we can actually see it and camera again is the phone is out of the path of the beam. I'm going to fire it there and see if it's centre. So we want to have it centre so it's not hitting on the side of the nozzle and losing part of the beam and also if it's hitting the side you can get a reflection and get another little engraving beside it so that looks pretty good that's perfectly centre so that's where you need to have your beam exiting, exiting the nozzle the next part of the video I'll show you how to adjust the mirror mounts and what the screws do to get a perfect alignment